Hey everyone, I'm Rushlock. This is an update for EVE Online, the newest patch, which has gotten a lot of attention. Uh, some mad boys, some, some naysayers, some doom and gloomers, but let's take a look at it and see what they're actually doing here in EVE Online, they being CCP, of course. From extraction to production. So this is the first development cycle going through the end of the Age of Scarcity, supposedly, and they're going to go over some details of how they're changing the mining process in EVE Online. So from extraction to production, uh, they mentioned back in July that they stated that the Age of Scarcity would come to an end at the fourth quarter of this calendar year, and that this is their introduction into this new phase called New Dawn, the Age of Prosperity. Of course, you know, a lot of people assumed that this meant that their er earnings in-game for, for PvE would go up, uh, and some particularly large fools thought that this also meant the ISK faucets or resource faucets would return to pre-scarcity levels. I have no idea why anyone would ever think that. Uh, you'd have to be living under a rock. It probably shocked you that Orcas and Rorks were no longer the solo mining, uh, I guess most of Orcas, the AFK solo mining uh, platform of choice. Uh, those have been on the chopping block for a long time, and, and now they finally got the axe. Uh, this has been coming down the pipe for a long time. I, like, I want to say I don't get how people couldn't see it coming, but at the same time, there's a lot of people who wouldn't even go this far as far as looking at a YouTube video for news about a video game. So you got to remember the common user only sees news updates from what's published in game or maybe on a forum or official tweets at the absolute most, right? So let's dive into it here. We've got New Dawn, the Age of Prosperity. They didn't say who would be prosperous for though. Keep that in mind as we go forward. They specify the Orca and the Rourke no longer going to be the ship of choice for solo mining like we mentioned before or AFK mining with the case of the Orca. Uh, they briefly go over here uh, we'll, we're going to briefly go over how they're going to double the ore uh, quantity uh, on on grids. Uh, you can look at the details yourself. Just go to eveonline.com, go to the news tab up in the left-hand corner. You'll find this article very quickly from extraction to production. Um, something of note here is the uh, keyword usage being changed for common, uncommon, rare, superior, abyssal, and mercoxit. Uh, these will be relevant when we talk about crystals later. Uh, also, a big thing is they're introducing a new mechanic to mining, waste. So what is waste? Waste is kind of like a layered RNG resource management system where, so CCP is doubling the size or the, the, the contents of the rocks on grids, but when you harvest them, there's a chance that a, a certain amount of waste will be generated. It's important to point out that the waste is not taken away from your yield, it's taken away from the rock that you're shooting at. This might seem like a nuance or a, or a pedantic point, but it is actually really important to understand. Your, your cycle time on your lasers are not being devalued. Your time on that particular rock is being changed. Also, why did they you know, double the amount of ore uh, in, in a rock that you're shooting at, but then also introduce a waste mechanic? It's to keep you on that grid longer, because longer you're on that grid to harvest the same or slightly more uh, quantity of resource compared to the during the age of scarcity, uh, that's what they're, they're comparing, you know, one to the other. And going back to the point of some people, for whatever reason, thought they'd go back to the pre-age of scarcity faucet levels. That was never the intention, and this is how they're going to go forward with it uh, here in the future. So, basically, T1 uh, harvesting will will have higher waste, and uh, T2, or Tech 2, uh, harvesting methods will have a, a, an improved rate. There's a chart here we'll get to in a little bit. Let's get to the, the main points here. So mining waste and resources, they talk more about how, you know, look, we're doubling the ore. There's a waste mechanic. Uh, I'm trying to keep this as short and concise as possible. You can read the details yourself. They try to give you like some examples here. Um, this one's not so good in my opinion. This one's a lot better. If you're using Tech 1 modules, uh, you're always going to have waste every single time. So it's per cycle. It's not, an, um, it's not a percentage amount per yield. It's, a, it's an average, right? So if you're using Tech 1 modules, you're always going to generate waste. If you're using Tech 2 modules, you're going to generate waste about one-third of the time. And if you use Faction modules, you don't do waste at all, and you actually start making, you know, even more than the Tech 2 users, which puts a sudden demand on Faction modules. I'm very curious to see who's going to benefit from this and get a stranglehold on those modules uh, going backward or forward and, in terms of stockpiles going backward and new acquisitions going forward. So I think that'll be interesting as well. Huge changes to com compression. Uh, they basically want you to compress the ore out in space. Uh, 
but in its current state, and this might change, and this is still on test server, um, it, it seems strange to me that they want you to compress tethered up or in a POS. Like, maybe this change was made with the thought process that, like, hey, at some point in the future, we'll get POSs out of here, and it won't matter. But even then, nerds will just be set on, on, a, on a tether, you know, compressing and crunching ore. Now, they've also added waste to the compression uh, process. So they've got this double layer of, of waste going when you gather the, the resource out of the asteroid, and again, when you compress the ore, if you need to move it somewhere. And so, despite doubling the amount of ore in the asteroid, like, Tech 1 users aren't going to see any benefit. There's going to see a loss. Tech 2 will overall see a slight improvement. And then, of course, faction modules will, will see a, a nice uptick if you're capable and willing to pay the investment cost of doing so. Uh, compression, though, is going to make some really weird math going on for, you know, how the ore comes in. You know, some people were complaining about how, like, okay, well, new, new miners can't even get on, you know, null rocks or whatever. My counter-argument to that would be, like, what are they doing there in the first place? Like, you've got other resources they could be gathering and be a lot more efficient with. Uh, it does kind of put some work, though, on the administration side of organizations and all trying to make sure that people are using uh, I guess proper fits or whatever. You don't want somebody out in Tech 1 modules going after your, your high-end moon ores when you'd prefer to have them gathered by people with higher skills, higher modules, right? So, you know, that can create work for organizations trying to shove people. And if they're a new player or lower skill-pointed player, how are they going to receive being told, hey, get off that good site and go, go you know, gather this stuff instead? Uh, in reality... Your organizations should be seeing people as valuable assets you know, inherently and in a, in a perfect system, right? You've got people wanting to help out and communicate well. But as we all know, EVE Online, MMO, neckbeards don't always, you know, excel at, at communication. So uh, I think bigger organizations will have a bit of a challenge on how to disseminate, <clears throat> excuse me, and, and pass on that information to, to their to their members and, you know, how that gets presented, presentations, everything, right? So... Compression has waste, double layer of, of waste uh, systems. You've got new modules coming out uh, for compression. I wanted to see if we could find the... Oh, skills will be truncated as well. Sorry, let me back that up a little bit. I don't know if we skipped it or or what. But new skills coming this way. Basically, skill points will be refunded if you have re uh, refining of specific ores. Uh, we talked about that rarity system before, the common uncommon. Sorry, I'm scrolling through here trying to find it for you guys. Here we go. This might be it. No. Give me a second here. I feel like I skimmed right past it before. Oh, well. The main point... Oh, here it is. Condensing all skill, reprocessing skill points from 19 individual skills down to 6. They're going to refund up to 13.5 million skill points if you've been fully you know, invested in those skills. You'll get that SP back and you'll be able to respend it into this common, uncommon, rare... Basically a rarity system for ore types. Um, you know, Things like high sec will be the common, maybe uncommon, and different security statuses will change from there. Uh, coming back to the mine crystals. So you've got different types of crystals going forward. You've got the standard yield, which you're used to. You've got high yield, high waste, and less reliable. Uh, I'm guessing less reliable means um, you go from having standard yield maybe to like no to low yield, uh, low, low waste cycle chances. Remember, it's RNG based, right? So higher waste, uh, I'm guessing, means a higher percent chance to waste. I don't know what less reliable means. Maybe the crystal's wearing out, I'm guessing. And then very unreliable makes the crystals wear even faster. Not quite sure I see anything in here that mentioned like how that part broke down specifically. But I could have just missed it, so maybe you'll find it in here. Uh, something that's interesting is you can intentionally have a very high waste um, <clears throat> setting so that if you want to go offensively into enemy space and destroy their higher value rocks, you can do so. Um, this might create conflict drivers for, for mining grids. It might not. Uh, but it seems with mining overhaul changes in general, uh, why not have something like that where you can go mining PvP wise, like go out in a, in a small gang or even a even a fleet and uh, try to knock out? Uh, it'll be interesting to me to see how like the fleet's going out to do so compared to the value of the ore they destroy compared to the ships are going to lose by getting aggressed by any potential defenders. Uh, if nurse defend decide to undock and defend, they may not, and uh, we might see a lot of, of ore getting wasted. And and on top of the inherent waste of just gathering ore now in, in general with this system. Now you have the option of people going out just for the sake of destroying things and destroying rocks that won't get their, their resources used. I think it's really interesting and I'm kind of excited to see if anything comes of that. It might be a big whiff. Nerds not be, might not be willing to do so. Uh, I think 
I think there are more nerds willing to go out and aggressively mine or hostily mine just to destroy the rocks than there are people willing to, to form up and defend uh, their space to do so. So we'll see how that play, plays out. Uh, there were some module changes, some ship changes. Uh, bonuses are getting changed for you know specification of, of hauling. Um, another big thing that some people didn't like is that the, the expedition frigates are being changed, no longer being gas or um, ice specific. And I, I'm guessing they're going to be shifted in a way of more like a progression system. Like, hey, you're mining in your venture. Good job. Now get into this expedition frigate or get into a, a barge and then an exhumer. Um, obviously, with that tech one, tech two waste differential, they're definitely shoving people toward uh, being Omega. I don't think that's a big shock. I know there'll be some pushback on that. People complaining, oh, man, I'm being my arm twisted into, into you know, paying up to, to get into the good stuff. And maybe the waste mechanic is a way to nudge someone like, hey, you're only doing, you know, tech one investment on your skill points. You need to get that tech two stuff and lower your waste rate or you're hurting your, your organization, you're hurting your allies and things like that. So maybe that'll provide some kind of like psychological push for people to monetize. We'll have to wait and see, but that's definitely a narrative going around. You can read the conclusion here, but basically it's like, hey, we, we did the scarcity phase. They're going to tighten things uh, or loosen things back up, uh, probably slowly. I don't think that's what people wanted. I think people expected... Uh, the age of scarcity to end and the age of prosperity day one to hit the ground running and just go back to pre-scarcity uh, faucets of both ISK and resources. And of course, that isn't, wasn't, and will not happen. Um, but you will see, a, I think, a gradual uptick from um, from the age of scarcity. Uh, this is just me opining and, and just you know theorizing, but I would guess over the next calendar year, we're going to see more systems get changed uh, and see how it impacts the economy step by step. And I'm not saying that you're, uh, in fact, I'm saying quite the opposite, right? Like, I, I cannot hammer home enough. The, the pre-scarcity age uh, faucets are, are gone. They're not coming back. I think we're going to see a slight uptick from age of scarcity. And I, I think it'll be probably, I don't want to say over-promised and under-delivered, but I think people set their expectations. Users set their expectations way too high. And then when it falls short at all, uh, the hype just deflates, right? So, anyway... Again, go to eveonline.com, go to the news section, you'll see, in fact, we can just show it to you right now. Go to the news section, come down a little bit, you'll see from extraction to production, click that link or that button, and you can read all about the details yourself. If you have any input, questions, or feedback, put it down in the comments down below the video, and we'll see you all next time.